Now, Dorothy Beverly and, and Neville, for that matter, they fallen in with the wrong crowd, and we were having a terrible time trying to prize them away from this particular family. And that's not always so easy because you know you've got to put a certain trust in your children, and then they do things behind your back, and uh, you meet out some form of punishment. But uh, you know that doesn't always work. And uh, one Sunday afternoon, Beverly came home and she said to me, she said, I want to ask you something. I said, yeah, ask, I'm listening. She said, I want to go down to this church. didn't live all that far from the church. She said, I want to go down to this church where they clap hands and they sing and they dance. I thought to myself, my God, please, we've gone from drugs now <laughs> to the other extreme. You know what I mean? So uh, I said, well, you know, go. If you want to go, go. Off she goes. It's fine. Uh, eight o'clock comes, no Beverly. Half past eight, no Beverly. Nine o'clock, no Beverly. I said to Denise, I said, you see, now she's even using God and the church so she can get up to her nonsense. And I'll never, never, ever, I think if I live to 190, will I ever forget this. I heard a car stop. And as the car stopped, I looked up at the clock and it was 20 past 9 in the evening and I said to Denise I said you see there it's 20 past 9 she's come home from church can you believe it okay front doors open and now I hear this conversation Beverly let me go and speak to your dad she said no 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 you don't have to worry about that I can handle him those were her words you know and I said to myself handle me watch me when you walk through this door well, Beverly walked through, and I want to tell you something. It was like the sun had risen and was shining at 20 past 9 in the evening. I, I couldn't believe what, I what I'd actually seen. You know? And the transformation was just absolutely incredible. And I remember quite clearly, she pointed her finger straight at me like that. And she said, what you need to know is that Jesus Christ is alive. Well, I thought, well, okay, that's fine. We'll see how far this goes, you know. And the following Sunday... Neville was sitting on this chair, then he was on that chair, then he was on this chair, then he was on the couch, then he was in the bedroom, then he was back again, backwards and forwards. And eventually I said to him, I said, listen, you've got ants in your pants, man. What, what, what's your problem? He didn't speak. He just ran out, ran out the house, jumped over the fence, off he went. I thought, now, what on earth now? Beverly had gone to church, we knew that, but off, she, off, off he goes. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Same thing, comes home 20 past 9, battling to speak English. All you hear is Baraba Kusere Matra Bonda. I thought, what on earth has happened to my child? I mean, you know, I mean, give me a break. Uh, I said, and now? And eventually he came down, he simmered down. He said, you know, Dad, he said, a voice told me, run to the church. He said, a voice spoke to me and told me, run to the church. He said, so I ran. And he said, when I got there, there was a whole lot of people going forward to the pastor. And he said, he said, I pushed them aside. And he said, I went to the pastor and he said, I want to give my life to Jesus. Jesus just spoke to me in my home. So he'd heard no, no preaching, absolutely no preaching whatsoever. And uh, Pastor Fred Roberts said to him, he said, no, you know, I'll, I'll get you. He said, no, 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 you can't get to me. I'm here now, in front of you now. How do I give my life to Jesus? So Pastor Fred led him in, in prayer. And that evening there was a baptismal service. So he went to Pastor Fred and he said to him, he said, hey, he said, I want to be baptized. So Pastor Fred said, no, but you must get consent from, from, from your father, from, from your parents. He said, you just told me that God is my father. Now you're asking me to go to another father. So which father do you want me to go to? So Fred said to him, okay, I'll baptize you. And when he came out of the water, he was baptized in the Holy Spirit. So that was that.